Cryptocurrencies, a necessary scam? Web3 is a bunch of bull hockey, Matt Stoller, author of Goliath, The 100-Year War Between Monopoly Power and Democracy, writes dot by Matt Stoller Deck 13, 2022 at 3.12 p.m. Uck be Matt Stoller Deck 13, 2022 at 3.12 p.m. Uck for a few years, I've been thinking about why social movements like crypto and Bitcoin have so much momentum. I often get emails from proponents of crypto as an anti-monopoly tool, and a lot of smart people I respect believe that it is based on a groundbreaking technology that will sweep the world. I don't see it that way. I think it's a social movement based on a dangerous get-rich-quick scam. But there's a tremendous amount of goodwill involved, and as with GameStop, the underlying driver of the energy in this movement is mass and legitimate disillusionment with liberal institutions who have failed to deliver. Matt Stoller is the author of the big newsletter, where a version of this article first appeared, and former policymaker who focuses on the politics of market power and antitrust. This article is part of Crypto 2023. This weekend, I held a forum for paid subscribers on whether crypto is a useful anti-monopoly tool, and the debate got heated. I learned a lot, and after reading the comments I decided to write an essay, because it seems like there's a lot of confusion about what crypto is and what it's for. December 8, for instance, there's a hearing in the US House Financial Services Committee on the crypto, follow the URL for the full article for more on this story, visit the news article link.